What really impressed me about Joanne's place was how busy it was. She's got a brilliant product, and those brownies taste fantastic. So I'm going to use that to inspire me. I'm going to do chocolate brownies with another American favourite, marshmallow. <laughs> to start, melt your chocolate in a bowl over a pan of boiling water. I think the real secret of chocolate brownie is the type of chocolate, particularly the quality of chocolate that you use. Now, this is dark chocolate, about 70% cocoa, so you've got it it's very rich, but also quite bitter. So I'm going to add the butter, and we just heat that over a pan of hot water. Pour the sugar into a mixing bowl and break in five whole eggs. Now, I add a touch of vanilla essence into this, just a little bit, and then just plain flour. The baking powder will give it the rising agent. But also in brownie, I think this is really, really important. It's as important as the quality of the chocolate, and that's salt. Because what you find is a really good brownie will want you to go back and have another bite. And what the salt will do is actually cleanse the palate while you're eating it. Combine the eggs with the chocolate and then fold in the flour. We just pour this mixture into a, just a lined cake tin. That and spread it out evenly so it gets into the corners. And then you can bake this about 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 170 degrees centigrade, gas four, for about 20, 25 minutes. And now for the marshmallow. So simple to make. It's basically an Italian meringue mixed with gelatine. Soak your gelatine in cold water and leave it for a few minutes. What I need to do is get the sugar on. Add the sugar and cold water to the pan and pop it onto the heat. I'm just going to add a tablespoon of liquid glucose. Remember, for the Italian meringue, your sugar syrup needs to be heated to 118 degrees centigrade. And when ready, pop your egg whites onto whisk. Now we can add our gelatine. So we switch the heat off, take the gelatine straight in. Mix this together till it's dissolved, which there it is. Turn the egg whites on full and then carefully pour it onto the egg whites. Adding the sugar syrup slowly and steadily to the egg whites, it then begins to form the marshmallow. But while that's cooling, we can prepare our tray. By lining the tray with cling film and adding a combination of corn flour and icing sugar, it prevents the marshmallow from sticking. Now, you could, if you wanted to, add any colouring to this, flavouring. What I'm going to use is some fresh raspberries. When you get this, you almost get like a raspberry ripple sort of texture, but you get the whole chunks of raspberries in there as well. So mix it all together, and all we do is just pour this onto the tray. You press this into the corners. Now, because the egg whites are actually cooked, this marshmallow can keep for a good few weeks but with raspberries, about a couple of days max. Just leave it out, let it set, which is basically at room temperature for about 15 minutes, and it's ready to eat. Now, this is the texture that you're looking for. You almost press the top of it. As it starts to just come back, then take it out of the oven and let it cool down to room temperature. Never, ever do you want to put brownies in the fridge because it firms up like a chocolate bar. Is when you cut it through, it's soft, textured inside. Plate up a square of your brownie, then it's time to remove your marshmallow from the tray. Dust again with corn flour and icing sugar and cut into a square and sit it on top of the brownie. We're just gonna grill the marshmallow just to toast it. And it's one thing that you learn about America. Just when you thought you've added enough ingredients, they put more on. Dusting of ice and sugar over the top. And there you have it, my chocolate brownie with marshmallow and raspberries and vanilla ice cream. Done. You're going to need the gym after this, but it tastes fantastic.